Hey guys, I, uh, I drugged out uh, Allison here. Um, <clears throat> started working on it. Uh, kind of just started from the top. <clears throat> I was gonna work my way down. Uh, got the valve cover off. This injector here was stuck. I got it free. The other one was free. Uh, the rack's free now. Uh, I still need to pull that. I'm going to pull that water jacket off and see if that head is cracked or if, uh, if it was just leaking and they didn't want to fix it. So I got done messing with that. I climbed under it uh, to drain the oil. I pulled a plug out. It won't come out. The oil won't come out. I don't know if there's ice in there. I stuck my finger in there. The screwdriver didn't feel anything. Um, but you pull the dipstick, it's clear up on the dipstick. So I don't know what. I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, I came over here and then pulled this inspection plate off. And I'm going to do my best with the camera here. Get it in there. Um, let's say good. We'll see if we can get it to focus. There we go. She's cracked. All along there. So, a lot of uh, metal shavings. You can see in there. That ain't good. So I'm thinking it is uh, new motor time. Uh, yesterday we were out driving around in the country and I found another little HD5. Uh, I stopped and knocked on the lady's door. She happened to have traded that for some work to a guy I know. Um, I got a hold of him. He said it's got a a good running little 271 in it it's got a broken axle and the steering clutches don't work very good um so that's exactly what i need because i need a good running little 271. uh i'm thinking i'm thinking this probably run away on the guy uh like i said it was his uncle's but his uncle gave it to him and he was playing with it uh and when i got it the flapper here was stuck and i don't even know if he would have known that that had a flapper emergency shutdown uh i'm thinking he probably had it out and run away on him uh you know that's why i always say when you buy these things plan on the worst case scenario that's why i give junk price you know maybe a little more sometimes it depends what it is and it depends if it's worth you know how much money you're going to put into it. If you go and buy in parts individually, you spend so much more money than if you just go buy a whole stinking dozer. You know, uh, these things are old, they're worn out. Uh, they're great little machines, but you know, it kind of just depends on how, how far into one you want to get. Um, so I will let you guys know if I get that other one bought, I'll make a video of it too. Um, and we'll see what it is. It's not a, it's not a track excavator. It's a, it's a regular old dozer. Um, so hopefully we can do something with that because as of right now, I'm kind of at, at a standstill. I think I'm going to pull that head off maybe and see what, what's going on underneath that. But I don't know, kind of disappointing, but you'll have that. All right. I'll talk to you guys.